Yeah, hi, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, good day. How are you? I'm a little disheveled and I'm looking like a polar bear. See, he looks like a polar bear. He looks like he's wearing a goat or something. I'm wearing a fleece. It's a fleece. Because it's cold. It was 32 degrees this morning. Anyway, um, we're continuing our conversations with candidates for um, office in contested races. But tomorrow, actually, we're going to speak to someone who was in a contested race when we booked her. It is no longer, but it's still worth listening to what her prospects are because she will be a new counselor mm -hmm. uh, for Ward 4. So we'll talk with Pam Schwartz about the issues that she sees in the Ward 4 and the, and the issues, uh, the larger issues relative to the city. And, and, and hopefully we'll be talking with uh, uh, Andrew Vidal McNair, who's running against Maureen Carney in Ward 1. And Maureen Carney will come and speak with us about her candidacy. He has not responded to our emails yet. And I'm going to call him and we'll see. In fact, I, the irony being, of course, is these are one of the things he's accusing Maureen Carney of not doing, which is responding to phone calls and emails. He would be my counselor, so I live in Ward 1. And he's dressed like a polar bear. Yeah, I'm dressed like a polar bear. Yeah, a little cranky this morning. Um, uh, we will also talk with... Um, who Jazz? We were just Yuri talking about Fryman. This. Yuri Fryman Sorry. about fair trade, uh, uh, reverse trick or treating, mm -hmm. which sounds like basically when kids come to your house, you can threaten to toilet paper them. But no, no <laughs> that's not that. how it works. No. No. Okay, they're going to give you candy. That's right. Right. That's it. Okay. Or you can toilet paper them yeah. if they don't. Well, whatever. I mean, if it's reverse, that's well. We'll ask them about that when they come in and also talk about fair trade as a concept and as an ideal, and also when it's used as a scam, and that's happened as well. Um, okay. Yeah, there's some there's some corporate. I thought you thieves. meant. I thought you meant reverse trick or treating. No, no, reverse trick or treating. Instead yeah. of giving you candy, that's reverse trick or treating. You... you give me money, or I will shoot you. <laughs> that's actually called a robbery. But that's not what these guys are about. I'm pretty I'll sure. I'll give you this shiny bullet in your abdomen. <laughs> All you got to do is thank me by giving me your money. Um, and then, oh, oh man, spiraling out of control again. Who else are we talking to? Well, Thursday, hopefully, uh, there was a little bit of a scheduling snafu. But um, we're going to be talking to Maggie Bergen and somebody else. Maggie Bergen's a friend and also uh, associated with Open Square and Holyoke and also the Art of Politics. She's a political consultant, but she's all of, she's all about Holyoke. Holyoke, no L. And she, she'll she tell us what's going on in Holyoke as, as, as it becomes a burgeoning cultural and arts center. They've got some uh, event going on, I think, this weekend. That narrows it down. An event. In Holyoke. In Holyoke. Who knew? <laughs> and, and, I'm distracted by yeah, I have worship and <laughs> glory in the fleece. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll tell you about more stuff. Friday, uh, Penny Burke. Is Penny Burke from uh, from the Center for the Arts to talk about the Green Party. Oh, I know. And Thursday, we're also going to be talking to um, Mark Johnson. He's the director of oh, right. Playing for Change: Peace Through Music, a uh, documentary film. Um, and there's a touring band that's coming to the Calvin on Friday night. Um, uh, check out YouTube. Yeah, actually, you can also go to the Rivers website, WRSI.com. I posted a, a video of all these musicians all over the world performing Stand By Me. Um, and it will make you want to hug someone. It's that awesome. Yeah, so if you really need to hug someone. But we'll talk with Penny Burke on Friday and, uh, about the party, that, the event that they're having, the Green Party. And um, it's uh, we had a poster for it, but there, we don't anymore. There's a great poster that says, Martini glass with um, and there's a great with a branch. There's also a, a great um, window in downtown Sounds that you should go check out. Oh, okay. And yeah. you can drink green teenies. I think is that what you were saying? I think so. Those are green teenies. Yeah. Any excuse to put liquor in something, right? <laughs> and then some. But we'll talk with Penny about that. She's a regular guest. So there you go. There's sort of a week. If you can, you clearly we haven't marked our calendar, so I don't expect you to. But just to give you an idea of what's coming up and what you can anticipate. And what you can plan your life around. And there's even more than that. I mean, we have we. Oh, there's a lot know, more than that. Yeah, we've just given you just a just tiny a taste. taste. I'm going to brush my hair. All right, see ya. Mm -hmm.